All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I am Craig Sewing, the executive show producer, and today we're going to be going out to the market with all of our beautiful co-hosts exploring America's finest city from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're going to dive into some real estate as well. Great show. Let's start it right now. today at Ross Gelato, the newest gelato shop here in the area. We're going to speak with the owner, Audrey Valles, as well as Lisa Herndon, one of the top producing agents in the area. I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty sweet segment, so let's jump right into it. Lisa, Audrey, thank you so much for being here today. Lisa, I want to start with you. Where are we at today? We're in Del Sur, but where exactly is this location? We are at Frost, which is the new gelato um, place down here that we are all so excited about here in the Del Sur Shopping Center. This is a really growing, unique center. We have new restaurants coming in all the time, and this is really a unique, not just ice cream, but gelato location that I know Audrey's going to tell us all about how they do it. Awesome. And Audrey, tell me a little bit about what What's going on here? What's your favorite part about Frost and why did you guys decide to open in Del Sur? Oh my gosh, it's such a great community. You know, we scoured San Diego County trying to find the right spot and Del Sur Town Center was just the right mix. Great uh, restaurants and wonderful families and you know, we've had such a wonderful opening. Everyone's been so receptive and positive so we know we picked the right spot. But we love the area. Um, Frost Gelato is a special place. We make everything fresh on site daily. All of our raw ingredients are imported straight from Italy. So I think that people appreciate the difference. So I just found out that gelato is better for you than ice cream. Can you touch on that just a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't make any of our um, products with uh, butter or eggs. It's less than 1% cream. So it's actually 80% less fat and half the calories of American ice cream. That is great news from an ice cream connoisseur. Yeah. So I'm officially going to be a gelato connoisseur. So Lisa, have you brought any of your clients here? Have they raved about it? We have. I've met some folks here. My my kids love this place, of course. It is really excellent, and I was just sharing with Audrey, too. Their staff is so nice, and they are so great. They'll let you sample if you're not quite sure what you'd like to choose, but you really can't go wrong. Everything here is delicious, and it really has added something to the community, too. You know, th this town center, like we talked about, is really, really growing, and it's adding a lot of value to the residents here and the people that live here in the community. We're really enjoying it. Absolutely. I was going to say, we know the real estate market's on fire, especially in Forest yes. Ranch and Del Sur, where you specialize. Yes. So how exciting is it to have so many new developments here yeah. in a place that's really this awesome? It's great. It it really is great and I'll tell you it, it helps with the people selling their homes and it helps to bring people into this community you know a couple of little statistics for you right now of course we're here in the summer months and um, which makes ice cream even more appealing yes. I have to say uh, but it also is appealing for sellers and buyers out there in the market I mean it is it's really hot right now um, not just weather wise but in the market and um, we're seeing sellers getting full statistic for you 99.4 percent is the average um, price, sale price to asking price that right now. That is awesome. So and that's a testament to your marketing, it too. It really is. Yeah, it's it's great. And so our sellers are happy. Our buyers are getting in right before the school year, able to get their kids in this wonderful school district, how we unified right here. And um, we're really enjoying, again, all the great businesses and activity going out there, you know, going on out there in the uh, in the community. Absolutely. I was going to say, you touched on a lot of great things that Del Sur yeah. offers. A great school district, a lot yeah. of new developments, great people, awesome neighborhoods. Yes. Talk about the new developments here and kind of why people are drawn to them. Sure. They have a lot of parks, I know, and you can touch oh, on yeah. it. Better. Both Forest Ranch and Del Sur have a lot of different parks. Um, Del Sur has eight community pools that are all part of your um, your kind of HOA, if you will, there that the residents can enjoy. Um, there's also different activities and events that um, go on throughout the year. Um, there's Easter egg hunts, there's Fourth of July fireworks, there's all kinds of things that both communities um, that are kind of anchored right here at this shopping center um, between both of them do to, uh, you know, for families that live here to enjoy. I was going to say, and love that, and the fact that you do so many events and have, and families have those. Now we have a place where you can get the cake yeah. and the yeah. ice cream. Okay. So how often do people come in here and get the cakes? Um, sorry, not ice cream, it's gelato. I keep I know, I keep right? saying that too. <laughs> 
gelato is Italian ice cream. So you're not wrong in describing okay. it that way. I feel better. Better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the cakes are great. We do probably five to six cakes a week. Um, all we need is 24 hours notice to create the custom cakes. And you can customize flavor of gelato, the sidings, the toppings, and we can even inscribe it, you know, happy birthday, you know, Jack or whatever you like. So we try to make it special for awesome. everyone. Awesome. And so there's actual gelato inside there that is. what's There's covered? two layers of gelato. It's vanilla sponge cake gelato, vanilla sponge cake gelato. So you can pick two flavors or just one. Wow. I think I figured out what I need <laughs> yeah. for my next birthday. That's so awesome. So explain kind of what we have here on the table. Sure. So cake, mm -hmm. shakes, gelato. Yeah. So today we actually prepared a uh, sorbetini. We prepared two different flavors of sorbetinis. This is a signature drink for us. It's a dairy-free milkshake. It's made with our sorbets and Pellegrino, and we blend it together so it has a smoothie consistency. We topped it with some whipped cream and sprinkles just to make it fun. And then for our gelato samples today, we have um, a cup of our sea salt caramel mixed with our dark chocolate, which is probably two of our most popular flavors. And then we have our mint chocolate chip and the crema de biscotti, which is an Oreo flavor, super popular with the kids in this community. We've been selling a lot of that. And then our sorbets, uh, delicious and dairy-free. We have mango and strawberry. Awesome. This all looks so amazing. Thank I'm excited. You. I think we're going to try some later, so I'm yeah. super excited. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit more, anything about the shop that you think people would know that they wouldn't be able to find out online? Sure, I mean, well, Frost is unique because like I said, we do make everything fresh on site daily. And I think that you can taste the difference uh, when you taste the product. It has a consistency like no other. And we just encourage people to come out. You can try as many samples as you want. We do have long lines out the door, but we try to move them quickly. Uh, you do get free samples in line. We encourage you to take your time, try different flavors. Uh, one of the fun products we offer is also a mini gelato tree. You can get up to 23 mini cones, 13 different flavors. So we encourage people to come out with their friends and their family and just sit and enjoy and have a great time here. Love that. And I don't know if you do your own open houses, but what a perfect place also to get some coffee before you go. Yeah, over there. absolutely. And I you know, was looking at those gelato trees she was talking yes. about. How much fun on a hot day to have that. those. Right, and we have a full espresso bar, so whatever you like, you can come in and enjoy. That helps so awesome. too. It's the one-stop shop. You got gelato and ice cream, that's really all you need. Well, thank you so much for sitting with me today, ladies. It's been wonderful talking to both of you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much, and thank you. Okay, you guys, we were here at Frost Gelato here in Del Sur. We spoke with Audrey, one of the owners, as well as Lisa Herndon of Lisa Herndon & Associates, one of the local real estate experts in the area. We hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Kara Kay, and we'll see you guys next time. bar called the Grass Skirt in my neighborhood of Pacific Beach. I'm talking with Steve Springer, local expert and owner of Pacific Ocean Realty, about the new developments and growth of this beach town. So let's bring on the Mai Tais and hula on inside. So thanks, Steve, for bringing me here today. I'm so excited. I have been eyeing this place for months now. So tell everybody where we are and why you brought us here today. Well, we are at the Grass Skirt, which is a little tiki bar speakeasy and Polynesian cuisine. Mm -hmm. uh, you, to get to this place, it's very hidden. You go through good time pokey. Uh, and so it's not that evident from the street how cool this place really is on the inside. Yeah, definitely. Once you get inside, you can see how they extensively remodeled and redid this building to make it this awesome tiki lounge. Um, so it's the Grass Skirt, which is run by SDCM. They're a major restaurant player in San Diego. They own Firehouse here in PB. Wow. Uh, Kettner Exchange, which oh, is one of the cool. top restaurants down in Little Italy. Mm -hmm. Also, Vindasara 
and uh, analog. So wow. a number of different places, uh, all, all considered successful. all considered mm -hmm. to be high end. So they're mm -hmm. continuing the same great traditions of awesome drinks and great food here. Yeah, the quality of food I remember you were telling me is just amazing here. So I can't wait to try that at some point. But I just when I learned how to say Aussie bowl, there is a new bowl in town that has a funny name. You said pokey. I think it's poke. What do you think? I thought it was like poke, like poke you. <laughs> no, no, it is not. not poke. It is poke. That is how it is pronounced. So, but anyway, on to Pacific Beach and this amazing community. I know Deanza Cove is an absolute staple here forever. Tell me about some of the new developments that are going on over there. So the Deanza Cove site is made up of both Campland on the Bay and then the Deanza Mobile Home Park. So mm -hmm. Deanza Mobile Home Park, the city reached an agreement with them to buy them out. So they've been in the process of demoing all those mobile homes there. In the meantime, they're reaching out to stakeholders in the community, starting a three-year plan of designs, community input, workshops to redesign both Campland and De Anza. They had a great workshop, informative meeting last night where they unveiled their two latest proposals. So one proposal, you know, has a certain configuration with some camping, golf course still there, I but like the camp that. the Campland location will totally become wetlands. Wow. So the San Diego Autobahn Society is happy about that aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, other players are happy about the golf remaining, recreational facilities and more opportunities to get to enjoy Mission Bay. Right. Exactly. And uh, that is just my favorite thing. It's a huge recreational area and so much water. You can have so much fun out there. Um, but you also mentioned that the city council just announced um, some new laws and some new proposals as well um, for this area. Can you tell me a little bit about that as well? Yeah, that was actually the mayor and a few of the okay. city council members okay. are worked on a plan for some development slash affordable housing initiatives. So everyone knows San Diego struggles with affordability. There's not a lot right. of places available for sale, not a lot for rent. So the mayor and the city council are finally trying to address some of those things. Their focus is on transit related development, which definitely fits into a number of spots here in PB, and also on affordable housing and middle low income housing. So they want to do incentives for developers, streamline the process of getting permits, and going through all the hurdles that prevent housing from being affordable. So that's really good to see the city working on that. Mm -hmm. One of the things that is a state law that the city finally has to get in line with is the uh, granny flat ordinance so they have to allow you to build a granny flat on your property hmm. even if it's not zoned for a second unit right so the city's working on adopting those which I think is major for not only PB but all areas of San Diego where all of a sudden someone can afford a higher level house because right. they can rent out this exactly. granny flat and make a little bit of extra income to mm -hmm. go towards their rent or their mortgage so that's really exciting mm -hmm. and I know that I moved to PB about 12 years ago because I just wanted to live this lifestyle for as long as I could but some people decide to retire here later in life and I believe that there is a new property over here where um, retirees can come can you tell us about that one yeah, right across the street they're just finishing construction on Oakmont Senior Living Center okay. so this is a site for seniors to come get you know, in home care, also memory care facilities. They've got high end chef that's on staff there, a bunch of different activities wow. and, and events planned for the seniors living there. And it's a great location, a couple blocks from the water. Right, they can but just people, walk. People don't think seniors when they think PB, so it's definitely sure. unique, but I think it's great for the area. The alternative for the site was going to be a hotel. So when you look at the two possible usage, right. I think almost everyone would agree having a senior facility there is great. So, Steve, Tell me what the number $7 million means to you right now. $7 million is the new highest residential sale in the history of 92109. Wow. Uh, single family home that I just sold down on Oceanfront Walk in Mission Beach, uh, 3467 Oceanfront Walk. Totally custom designed, high end, single family. 
uh, was originally designed and built by the founder of Lululemon Clothing. Wow! Um, I sold it for him once. Uh, the next owners decided they wanted to sell it, and we just sold it again last month. Incredible! Uh, and this was a unique deal. Not only a high dollar amount hadn't been achieved before, but also it was a lease option. So somewhat more complicated, but uh, we were able to get it done, and it's a really great property. Wow! Well, I would love to see that property. So do you have a video for us? I do. Let's check it out. Okay, excellent. always wondered what it was like inside so my gosh my dream home thank you so much Steve for bringing us out here today at the grass fur in Pacific Beach I can't wait to come back here for dinner so let's cheers cheers we hope you all enjoyed this brief and breezy island getaway at the grass skirt here in Pacific Beach. Thanks and congratulations to Steve Springer for recently selling the highest listed property in this area. I think that's enough to make us all look for our own oasis in beautiful San Diego. I'm Megan Tower with Lifestyles San Diego. Molly O'Dell here with another sunny, beautiful day in San Diego. I'm out in Rancho Santa Fe today with Ann Schreiber of Coldwell Banker at one of the great hidden restaurants in Rancho Santa Fe, Pensati's. I'm so excited to talk to Ann and the chef all about what this wonderful community has to offer. Ann, how are you today? I'm great, Molly. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for having me out today. So where are we? We are at Ponsati's Fine Dining and Lounge in Rancho Santa Fe. Oh, okay. Well, I heard that you're you're pretty knowledgeable about Rancho Santa Fe. Yes, my our office is here, just down the street, and uh, we've specialized through Rancho Santa Fe and all of North County Inland. Okay, so I always see like different, almost like housing compounds in Rancho Santa Fe. Like, what are all these different communities? That's a great question, and actually a very common question that buyers have when they come into Rancho Santa Fe. So there's lots of different enclaves is sort of how we refer to them. There's okay. the Covenant, which is Rancho Santa Fe proper, and that is the highest premium you're gonna pay to live in Rancho Santa Fe for the most part. This is one of the most expensive zip codes in the country. In the country? Yes, 92067. I mean, it's beautiful, so it yeah. makes sense. So there's the Covenant, uh, which is really where the neighborhood started, and uh, there's Fairbanks Ranch, which came along in the 80s, which are large, you know, beautiful mansion homes, um, kind of driving towards the east on uh, San Diego Road, and then there's also Cielo, which is, uh, I mean, those are like $10 million views up there. Oh my goodness. Part of that is in Rancho Santa part is not and what else there's the farms the bridges uh, you know the list the lakes Ooh. so the list goes on and on and each different neighborhood of Rancho Santa Fe has has different things that they offer some come with clubs some some don't have clubs some are attached to the Rancho Santa Fe school some are not so it's just kind of learning the nuance of what all of those different neighborhoods mean. That's crazy that like in this little community, I mean, Rancho Santa Fe isn't that big and there's like all these different things going on in it. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, so I always think like it's really, if you don't live in Rancho Santa Fe, you don't come to Rancho Santa Fe. Is that true? <laughs> well, I think, 
I think people might think that. There are some parts of the neighborhoods that are restrictive. There's gates in some parts and, and in private, re private residences as well. But it's really, you know, just like this restaurant, this is such a fantastic restaurant right in the heart of the village. We're right on the corner of La Granada and Paseo Delicias. And uh, the village is really quaint. People come here and they, it, you know, you feel like you're kind of back in time a little bit. Um, not to mention the fact that the inn, the Rancho Santa Fe Inn, which sits sort of at the head of the main drag That's of Rancho Santa place. Fe, <laughs> um, that uh, they have uh, movies in the park and, um, you know, after the 4th of July parade, which is coming up, there's a big picnic and festival there. Um, even the exclusive Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club does offer, you know, junior spring clinics and summer camps for children that are open to the public. Oh, wow. Yes, and Rancho Valencia, which is another great resort uh, that's kind of midway between here and some of the newer neighborhoods in 92127. Um, they have great tennis clinics and, of course, the Pony Room, which we love to go to. Oh, I love that place. <laughs> it's super fun there. But the 4th of July Parade is something we've come to many years in a row. It's from 1 to 3 on the 4th of July, and it's just a great small town uh, parade. It begins right at Roger Rose School, um, right on the corner of Avenida de Acacias, and La Granada, the street that comes okay. right down to it, and then goes right through um, Paseo de Lisas, right past our office. That's so fun. It just really is like a real hometown community, but very luxurious. Yes. Luxurious. Yes. I can say words right today. Um, but it's, I mean, it truly is just amazing here. You know, you drive in and you want to stay here. So that brings us to this restaurant because yes. I'm like, I need to bring everybody that I know to this place. Yes. I heard that the owner is going to come down and speak with us. So you know him. The, the chef, the chef. Uh, okay. who is a French master chef, and I, I actually didn't know this when I had a chance to meet him earlier. So Patrick Ponsati, and there are only 200 French master chefs in the world. Oh my God. So it's a, quite an exclusive uh, designation. And he's only one of two French master chefs in San Diego, and there's about 50 in the country. So I'm really excited. I hope we get to eat some food. I know, me too. I'm like going to put him in a glass bubble over here so nothing bad happens to him. <laughs> I'll look forward to him coming down then. Okay. All right, Anne, you and I were having a great conversation, but Patrick, the chef over here, just joined us. Hello. Yes, in the secret room. Yes, my favorite, <laughs> favorite room. Okay, so restaurant. explain, I mean, it's like down a flight of stairs, out the back door, I like don't know what's happening, but explain why this is such a secret room. What makes it so special? But, uh, if one day you decide to be married, you want to do like a very good present to, to your future wife, oh. you invite her for dinner, come to Ponsali, oh. we set up ro the room just for you, you have your own server, oh. and I can, I can create a tasty menu for you. Oh. And that's why it's very secret. And then you can come through the back door. Or for celebrities, For right? celebrities, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. oh. We need a few party already. I need yeah. that, Molly, right? Yeah, me and you both. <laughs> Obviously, we're on the celebrity list now. <laughs> I will take it. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. Okay, so tell me the whole entire, like, thought inspiration for this restaurant. Oh, the inspiration is about, first, I'm a fifth generation chef. And uh, all my fa family before focus on farm to table, organic. That's my main focus thing. I think the future is uh, it's going to be organic 100%. And uh, I'm uh, working with all the local farmers and uh, they're all my friends. And uh, that's, that's the main focus for me, the, 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 this restaurant. I make all the guests very uh, happy, impressed, and who, who eat healthy too. Well, and you have a very mm -hmm. welcoming presence too. It's such a beautiful spot right in the village. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Plus, and, uh, all the customers uh, start to be. Uh, I'm very good friends with, with a lot, lot of them because they're all local and they come here all the time. And uh, they trust me. They do whatever you want, chef. I cook for them. You know, oh. so it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun village. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I mean, I think I would trust you to cook for me after all this. <laughs> Explain what all this is, because it looks amazing. All right, we're going to start with appetizer. Okay. That's um, Ayi tuna tartar. The, the tuna is from San Diego Bay. Yes. With a cucumber on top. It's like a rosas. That's from a Chino farm, oh, like yeah. one minute from here. Yeah, Chino farm. Yeah. With uh, fresh herbs and a cucumber milk uh, sauce. Cucumber and milk? Yep. I didn't know cucumbers had milk. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a recipe. Uh, oh, together. that's a recipe. Okay. okay. <laughs> How do you make the little flower here? The flower? Which yeah. flower? It, well, it looks like a flower. It's so beautiful. No, it's like art. No, those are the a trout, trout row. Oh, trout. Oh. They look yeah. like flowers to yeah, me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
OK, that's the first course. And okay. then uh, we continue. That can be the second appetizer. That's a braised octopus. The octopus from Spain. Oh. That's one thing about this restaurant. Uh, we, it's not 100% French. It's a lot of uh, Spanish influence and uh, Italian too, okay. or uh, Mediterranean. Okay, sounds fabulous. And in the middle, we have ratatouille. It's a mix of uh, braised uh, zucchini, cucumber, uh, zucchini, eggplant, uh, red bell pepper, tomato, braised together in oven for like two hours. Yeah. Ratatouille? Ratatouille. Is there yeah. a movie called it's Ratatouille? It's like a movie, yeah. <laughs> oh, see? I, and it I means like place. stew, right? Or what does it mean? What does Ratatouille mean? Ratatouille, you know, that's the name of the, the recipe. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Got and it. the name of the rats in the movie. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought it was. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's not that. We have some uh, sweet peas, some uh, baby zucchini from Chino, and the croquette, that's a crunchy um, mashed potato balls. When deep fry, it like, does give a texture to the dish. And here we have a famous uh, paella from a uh, family recipe. Right. And it's a, sa a saffron rice cooked with a lobster stock. We have a mussel, clams, shrimp, chicken, sea bass, uh, and that's chorizo Ooh. from Spain too. Mm -hmm. And that's your family's recipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Amazing. I used to eat that when I was Super uh, three years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it. here is the, the signature uh, dessert. Uh, it's called a chocolate bisou. It's made, uh, bisou means uh, kiss. Oh. So I like it. <laughs> and the bottom, yeah, we are, there is a layer of uh, hazelnut biscuit. Okay. Uh, almond. So it's crunchy on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Almond uh, crunchy. Oh my it's gosh. It's two, two layers and a light chocolate mousse. On top is a bitter sweet uh, chocolate sorbet. And when the 23 car gold. So that, this part on top is sorbet. Yep. And then you That's a chocolate piece too. Okay. Ooh. And then you and then gold the on top. top. You hit the gold. Ooh. Totally perfect. Make you very important. Yeah. You know? <laughs> In our secret room. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I know that you guys have a ton of events coming up. I mean, yeah. the food's amazing, but you guys have a ton of events coming up. If somebody wants to find out about when the events are, where the events are, where can they go to find all that out? Yeah, we go on uh, ponsati.com. Okay. You have all the information about all the paella party, on the caviar, the, the, the pig Ooh, day, yeah, we're gonna, I have a pig coming on, uh, on Tuesday next week from my friend, uh, my friend uh, Jax, we're on the farm, he gave me the whole pig. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like 270 pound pigs, it's oh bigger gosh. than me. Oh my God. I want to come uh, we, to the opening day. And then with the, each part of the pig, we're gonna create, we create a testy menu with wow. the head and feet with Oh my gosh. We make one dish with, uh, with the belly. We make one dish. I think I, I pair the belly with the uh, foie gras. Oh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, dude, it's going to be beautiful. You need you have to come. Huh? Oh, I, I mean, we're yeah. going to have to be back next week. Yeah. So let's enjoy this food mm -hmm. and cheers. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. having us out here today. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, you guys. Cheers. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Ann Schreiber, for always showing me such amazing places in North County, like Pensati's here in Rancho Santa Fe. I'm so excited to try all that food and drink that delicious Mai Tai. All right, that's all for the show. I hope you enjoyed our exploration of America's finest city. And I want to remind you, hop on your phone. You can follow us on social media. Visit me online at craigsewing.com. We'd love to hear from you. And maybe you have a home that you'd like featured on the show. Please reach out to us, message us, follow us on social media. And of course, tune in next week for another episode of Lifestyles. Have a great weekend.